Guess who FaceTimed me? Guess who rang me while, while I was on holiday? <laughs> I was bored. Uh, during this holiday, I got a little bit bored, about halfway through. So I went to Mexico, went to a nice little resort place. It was really, really nice. Uh, and I started watching... Um... I'm going to pull up my texts. <laughs> In November of last year, I FaceTimed Charlie D'Amelio with La Rey, all right? He just added her to a call after I've messaged him so many times going, please, can we call? And he finally, finally did. And it was great. It was great. Uh, what I did after that call, uh, some may say irresponsibly, I say completely responsibly, uh, was just was just get her number. You know, when you FaceTime someone, you just have their number, right? In your phone, like forever. Uh, I just, I realized from that, I just had a number, which is, you know, <laughs> so that was brilliant all right and then i texted her a few times like hi hi you know just just hey just me just you know you know me she, oh, she didn't reply ever uh, over the past few months and while i was on holiday at the peak of my boredom no twitter on my phone what was i to do who was i to argue with i just texted saying uh <clears throat> hello charlie it's tommy in it to which she replied hello tommy in it it's charlie <laughs> She's playing mind games with me. She's acting. Uh, now, Charlie D'Amelio, if you're watching any of this, the clip of the following story, just tell me, and I'll never ever tell stories of our going again, you know. But this this prompts it. So I was freaked out. I messaged going, "Like your new video, Charlie." She went, "Thanks." And I went, "You going VidCon? Because guys, I'm going VidCon in a month." She went, "Uh, yeah, I think so." And I said. She went, are you? She asked me, hallelujah. I said, yeah, I am. Now, this is this is when it all went violently, violently downhill chat. In a way, it, it possibly couldn't, and I, and I mean this lightly, could not have gone worse, all right? Uh, I sent her the text. I read it aloud as I said. Do you want to meet and do copious amounts of drugs? Charlie replied, let me ask my parents. A day later, a day later, I've got very, very, very into reading while I was away. I've been doing lots and lots and lots of reading. A day later, I'm sat on my MacBook. Uh, no, I'm sat on my MacBook watching Netflix. Just chilling now. Oh my God, okay, right. Ah! The chair just broke. This is a cursed stream. So I sit for a day, I ponder, I ponder my wrongdoing because I think perhaps I've done the wrong thing asking this. The next day, I'm sat uh, with a beard no one has seen. It's probably the first time I've ever been quite self-conscious about my face. You know me, chat, I'm perfect. But for the first time ever, I was like, oh man, I'm not sure if I like this beard. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I'm not sure if I'll shave it before I leave. And I'm sat watching Netflix. And in the top right of my little MacBook, I get this sound. I look up. Who would be FaceTiming me? Perhaps it's my friend Tubbo. Perhaps it's Wilbur. FaceTime. Charlie D'Amelio. This chair's even more broke. So I answer. But it's not Charlie D'Amelio who's there. No. No, why would it be? It's not Charlie D'Amelio. It's Charlie D'Amelio's dad. Mark D'Amelio. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> this sounds made up. I hate to tell you what. I hate to tell you. I hate to tell you. I hate to tell you. It isn't. This is. This is. This is Mark. <laughs> this is the worst stream. <laughs> this is Mark. My man. Ah, oh, good man. Good man. Let me tell you a little bit. Uh, no, wrong, wrong. The uh, wrong camera. There we are. It was scary. When I go on this camera. Uh, no, no, don't worry, guys. No, don't worry. I'm actually gonna be the new. Uh, the new streams. I'm telling you, the new thing on Twitch is gonna be just not having a camera. It's going to be having everything break. That's going to be the... Oh, no, no. That, I'm telling you guys, that's going to be the new big thing on Twitch. Mm -hmm. Take it from me, a streamer. Please say you didn't answer. No, I did! And I'm sat face-to-face -face with Charlie D'Amelio's dad. And he goes... 
So, Tommy, I've heard you want to meet my dog. <laughs> And I go, now, I don't know if you've ever, I've had to, I've done this once where I've met, uh, this was with the girl from college who I had a crush on, where you, like, I just bumped into, where you meet their dad. You go into this very unusual mode where you go super, super polite and super, like, high-pitched. So I went into the mode where you meet a girl's dad and you go, oh, hi, oh, hi, 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 uh, I'm Tommy, I'm Tom, uh, Tom Simons, uh, it's silent. I'm, I'm really sorry about the uh, the TikToks I made. I'm re I'm really sorry about that. And then Charlie leans in, and they just both start laughing. And I'm sat there with my beard, <laughs> with my beard by myself, like. <laughs> and then he goes, "I'm just joshing with you, Tommy." And then they hang up. Here's the good news. I'm probably, I'm, I'm going to meet Charlie D'Amelio in three weeks at VidCon, hopefully. I'm going to meet Charlie D'Amelio. <laughs> Can you imagine the vlog? The bad news. Charlie D'Amelio is never going to talk to me again. As opposed to the one time that she did. So, that, would, that happened in Mexico. Um... Not, not, and I'll say it, I'll say what the people would be thinking. Not my finest work, I'll admit. Uh, I really hope, please don't have, please don't be seeing this. Okay, good. So, apologies if any of the D'Amelio family are seeing this on stream. I then checked my Instagram story later, uh, two hours later. <coughs> And it turned out that she was uh, she was going to the Disney premiere of her uh, of her solo show that she's doing, and I thought, wow, I am sat by myself on a balcony with a beard. This this is wow, uh, this is bad. Let's just add to the title brackets. Story time from Mexico. Just so it's just so people know what I'm on about. Uh, now. So that wasn't that, and now I can see you all spamming. What? Why? It wasn't my best moment. It truly wasn't. <laughs> thank you for the five gifted pity subs. Oh, let's read some subs over there. Oli, thank you for the five gifted subs. Can me done? That's five pounds. That's Tom. No, shave it right now. No, no, no. Jay Schlatt Jr., big fanboy. That's it. I'm doing the chops. I'll do mutton chops. Don't even test me. Either or. Uh, that happened.